I know that all of you started to get really excited about this, um, uh, well, the fact that I do teach e-design and um, I think this is, um, I suppose for me it was just obvious because um, that is how I started my business but I appreciate that isn't how um, anyone else is taught and um, I appreciate that's also not what anyone else teaches because uh, when you go to interior design school you know that they teach a traditional way of doing um, interior design um, around the world because that's what they're taught to do and that is what the very rigid and structured system requires but um, that system is only designed for a specific type of project and I think this is where I was very frustrated at the beginning of my business because I knew all of the things that I was taught as a designer and um, I had already been working in the industry for uh, 15 years by that point and I knew it didn't work for small projects so certain things like four page contracts were not what you should use for an e-design uh, client things like how to run a project how to price a project how to market e-design services all these things were completely different to the traditional way of doing interior design and that's why when I go through my program I teach e-design as well as traditional and I think this is I suppose it's unique to what we do because no one else teaches that and um, I specifically show you the differences because if you and this is the big mistake most people do so if you're watching this here's the secret most people take a traditional interior design service and just try and duplicate that as an e-design and that's going to make you very poor <laughs> so there's a specific way of producing an e-design service because it's just not like a traditional service in any way and this is why e-design <laughs> and i know because i was one of the people who was like pioneering it like now in 2012 e-design is a low cost interior design service that opens up the interior design market to those people who never would have previously ever afforded an interior design service before so that is a very big difference because you've got luxury interior design which is now well now it is very luxury because most people who hire a traditional full interior design service are people who are doing larger projects who require that step-by-step concept, detail design, technical design, install, sourcing, um, uh, maybe joinery, bespoke joinery design, construction, they're doing major works and then install and um, like uh, styling, even turnkey styling at the, at the end. That is not how you run an e-design service. And this, and you'll see it everywhere. And people are even teaching this. I've seen this recently. People are actually teaching how to do this for e-design, which is you will go broke if you do this. So do not do that don't just take a traditional e design a traditional interior design service and turn it into an e-design you will go broke because that's not how you run an e-design service and i know because i made hundreds of thousands in my first few years of business because i did it differently i i designed an e-design service based on a different niche based on understanding that client who was who couldn't afford interior design services but wanted an interior designer so instead of me doing all the work they do all the work right so there's a different way of doing it there's a different way of offering interior design services as an e-designer and by getting clients differently because these people aren't luxury um, they're not very highly wealthy people who can afford this one designer who's going to go buy multiple houses with them and this is because this is the traditional service that a lot of interior designers offer they have a few clients and they do this like very very similar projects for that same style for the client and have repeat clients you don't do that with e-design and to sustain an e-design as a livelihood you're going to need a lot more of them so you can't just have one e-design client a year it's like inherently as an e-design service you're going to be having multiple small projects and that is why you just have to think completely differently to a traditional service so i'm like <laughs> it, there's so much into this and this is why i mean obviously i ran a whole program that helps you see the difference between a traditional service and an e-design service there's so much that goes into it um and it's uh it's not just something obviously you can do in a, in a few minutes in a live but um what is it uh that 
is, I suppose, the main difference is the type of clients who buy it. And I think this is the big thing that most people don't realize because they think they're still marketing to the same people, but they're not. So people who buy e-design services are very different types of people than the people who buy traditional interior design services. So this is where people get confused. And this is why at the beginning, because I was at the beginning when people were saying, e-design is so horrible, you're just stealing all our clients. <laughs> just completely like nonsense because they're completely different clients. People who buy traditional services are completely different to the people who buy e-design services. The market is completely different. The budget, the projects, everything is completely different. So you can see that how you would one, one run one type of project, you wouldn't run the other. Onboarding is different because that face-to-face -face service is not an e-design service. That's requiring you to be somewhere, face-to-face -face with somebody, traveled somewhere, all these additional costs. So you know, no, no, no. Like the way you run an e-design is more cost effective so that you can earn an income from it and actually make a profit. And this is why a lot of people go broke doing e-design because they haven't, they literally offer everything. Um, and then God forbid they offer, like they price per room, which anyone who's worked with me understands that that is the biggest disaster. Um, and I have my opinion on that, but obviously everyone has their own opinion. But, um, but usually because they're like, okay, I price per room and then they offer everything for that price. But an e-design service is a low cost service. So you're going to go broke if you offer everything for that low cost service. So this is why I, um, well now also why I have a, a, a trademarked um, certification that is for online design experts, which is only people who can hold that title are people who have been through my program. So um, if you want to find out more about that, that's also on our website um, and yeah, I think I'll leave it at that today. I think the only thing I want to clarify is obviously I teach both. I do e-design as well as traditional design. So in order to understand how to run a project, you need to understand both because you need to understand the differences between both. So traditional structure of running a project, e-design structure of running a project. And no, no one else is doing this because this, I invented it. So um, this is uh, and obviously my, my mentees um, do it my way. So um, and everyone adjusts and does their own thing as well but um yeah if you have any questions let me know that's all for today i want to keep it short and sweet plus i've got a meeting to run to so have a great day ciao